Hey everybody, today I'll be talking a little bit more about worksheets, especially verb worksheets. Okay, I developed a little bit of a system than just printing out some exercise for the students in worksheets and making it a little bit more fun to look at it. So my worksheets, they go a little bit more into the point. So the first worksheet that I try to work here is with verbs. And these worksheets, they, they try to have a sense of achievement. And the achievement here is to know the most common verbs in the English language. So to know the most common verbs in the English language, I started using COCA. COCA, as you see on the screen right now from the website, COCA is the Corpus of Contemporary American English. It is the only large genre balanced corpus of American English. COCA is probably the most widely used corpus of English and is related to many other corpora of English that we have created, which offer unparalleled insights into variation of English. I have also used the BNC, which is another corpora, but I prefer the corpus of, the, of contemporary American English. Said that, uh, I go to the second website, I, I continue on the website, and I browse uh, into a more specific query. And this query, you can see that I put it in the range from the first to the hundredth word, and I choose only to see verbs. And once, and once I click show all, uh, it presents me with all the verbs that I'm looking for from the first one till the hundredth. So the first one is B, and as I click on it, you can see that it comes out on the information on the verb B. And if you scroll down, uh, you will see sentences here from that use the verb B. It is conjugated. There, there are not that many sentence, sentences with just the word B. And it's important for us to understand because the sentences that I put on my worksheet are the sentences that come from this corpus. And this corpora is quite something because it is very important for us to see and understand the students will have more freedom. They will pick up their choice of text as soon as they learn more words. And this really focus on the most frequent words that they will be seeing out there. So as you can see, I go back to the verbs and I just do the same thing with the second verb, which is have. So just to summarize, so based on the analysis of the verbs and the most common verbs on COCA, I created or actually I copied the sentence from COCA to the worksheets. And it's very important because now we're going to go to the worksheets. In the worksheets, they show what? Uh, I go to my website right here, and as you can see it, it's this website is dedicated to all English as second language teachers and students. And then I click on worksheets, and then there is a presentation on all the worksheets and how they work. There is my first video on the subject, and then I click here on verbs. And when you click on verbs, uh, there's going to be a scrolling of all the, the worksheets that I have. And then you can see that the, ver the first one is a worksheet that I created using the, the most common verbs from COCA. So as you can see, I have be, have, and so on. So what is important on here in the verbs one, uh, worksheet verbs one, is that so as a teacher, you can download this worksheet and then present to your student. If your student knows, already knows the verbs, fine. Move on to the second worksheet, third worksheet, fourth worksheet. I'll be posting more worksheets with the most frequent verbs. What I want from you when you use these worksheets is that you translate the sentence with the student. Do not say, oh, this is the simple past, this is uh, the present perfect or whatever. Just tell the student in their L1 what is uh, the meaning of the verb and translate accordingly, because it's very simple to have a, a sentence in the past and a sentence in the present in English. And that simplicity is very important to, for the student to have. And I want you to keep that in mind, that when you present something to the student, try to present it in the, in the simplest way 
possible. So these are my worksheets. I hope you enjoy. I will be posting more on my website when it comes to nouns, adjectives, adverbs, but especially verbs. I do have a little tendency to like valency theory. And if you want to know a little bit more on valency theory, you can check also my website. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and well, try to subscribe, click on link, click on the like button if you like it. If you don't, please the unlike button and subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys have a good time and I'll see you soon.